Hi there! Your weekly tarot cards reading by M, but before I start, I would like to tell you something. I do have quite a few requests for, for uh, private readings, and let me just tell you, go to my description box, and there is this Fiverr link, okay? Just click on that Fiverr link, it will take you further, step by step, and you can place your order. Now your weeklies. Hi Sagittarius. This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning, uh, 1st of November 2021. Right, so Monday the 1st of November and the Nine of Cups for you, Serge. Tuesday, Eight of Swords. Wednesday, the Fool. Thursday, Three of Pentacles. Friday, King of Wands, Saturday, Seven of Pentacles, and Sunday with the Hermit. Your influencing energy is Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we'll comment on it just now. So Monday with the Nine of Cups and Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Tuesday with the Empress. The Fool with the Ten of Swords on Wednesday, now, Three of Pentacles with Page of Wands on Thursday. King of Wands with Five of Wands Friday. Now, Saturday, Seven of Pentacles with Five of Swords. And Sunday, the Hermit with the High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. This offer, this hand is offering you something out there. Okay, some offer of love, offer of friendship, proposal, marriage proposal. <laughs> For some of you but look this one isn't happy you are not happy here with whatever that is coming your way you're kind of um, not showing much interest in that proposal in that offer that you are receiving maybe I mean this could be about maybe money maybe something that's supposed to manifest in your outer world and it is proposal you're supposed to kind of say yes or no to this one whatever that is but what stands is that yes or no answer you are accepting it or not same as with this four of cups you are seeing it you are accepting it or you say no thank you and it seems to me you saw last week you were really in, in dilemma, not to, in fact dilemma, you were really not pleased with that what you saw as an offer for you, what could manifest in your life. It's just a small amount of money, it just doesn't make you happy, it doesn't bring that success that you want for yourself, it's not that what you want for yourself and it seems to me you will try to pass, you will kind of ignore that offer that you saw. I don't know, somewhere last week there was this offer and you were just ignoring it, kind of leave it. No beautiful Monday, and let me tell you before I start, I noticed suit of wands all over the show this uh, this week and I love it. It represents fire, it is energy, you are fire sign, energy that suits you very well. We do have page, we have queen, we have king of wands. Do we have king? Yeah, king of wands, I know I saw that one. Now, you see what I'm saying? It is very lovely energy of creation. You are creating something this week, definitely something in your life. You want to manifest with something, but it is your own creation. It seems to me that what came um, last week is an offer from somebody. You will ignore, you will create your business, your career, that what you want in your life. You'll do it yourself. This is DIY. <laughs> Not interested in what you want to give me, what are you proposing. This is what I can. You feel yourself confident. And these energies, you know, want energies, they always stand for enthusiasm, for passion, for creation. You see what I'm saying? And that, it seems, this week are going to be very dominant energy for you, Said Monday, beautiful. Queen of Wands is your energy there. Feeling so fearless. You do have idea about how to create, what you create in your life. Now, for your, I don't know, for your future, for something further down the road, down the timeline. You see what I'm saying? Very happy with that. Now, Nine of Cups is your emotional fulfillment. That what you didn't like, that offer you didn't like. You are coming up with idea. You can create it for yourself. You don't need other people. There is a sad 
screen of wants, capable, enthusiastic, jolly, fearless. You can create in your life whatever that you want. Very happy with yourself, feeling just like that. Wish card out there on Monday for you with this energy. Whatever that you wish, you can create. That kind of energy that you have. Lovely, I mean, full of confidence. Confidence on steroids. That's you on Monday. Being happy, jolly, having great ideas. What do you want for yourself? What you're going to create? What is the next things that you're going to do in your life? Today on Monday or this week or I don't know, this year or doesn't matter. Great idea. You are all happy with yourself. Confident, enthusiastic, passionate. Beautiful, beautiful, really. Monday starts lovely. No, what was this? Eight of Swords. Now, Eight of Swords is having some sort of obstructions, being stuck with a situation. Situation is quite positive. Uh, in, in what sense? Tuesday says that you do have something that is your comfort, okay? Maybe your home, okay? Something that is your comfort zone, something that is your enjoyment. This is very passive energy. Perhaps you are supported by another. Somebody gives you money, buys you things and stuff like that. And you feel stuck in a situation because of that, because of your comfort. Somebody provides for you and generously. And you are stuck with that situation. You cannot move you, with your own ideas, with your own, with your own creations, because it's so good. It's so comfortable. You see what I'm saying? For some reason, that comfortable situation is stopping you. It could be that you are mother, and you have children, and you have family, and you cannot move on. Yeah, you've got great ideas. You can do it. You are fearless. You're confident. You're capable. You have everything. But you cannot because you have to spend time with your children. They are demanding. Family demands your attention. Could also be some sort of situation that you created around yourself, okay? Doesn't allow you movement. It is enjoyable. As I said, this is very much mother. These two, these two, in fact, it's a mother. You cannot build your career. How can you do your career if you have children around you? That sort of energy that you're going to have on Tuesday. Whether that is, as I said, you being as a mother looking after the family and the children, something, you know, that is yours, that's your family, something that you in a way enjoy, okay? Or it is that you are supported financially and somebody is spending money on you and you are comfortable within that situation and, you know, feeling unmovable in a way. But you are definitely surrounded with obstructive energies on Tuesday. Wednesday, we, we again, we are coming to this <laughs> enthusiasm, to this optimism. Look, taking leap of faith, doing it, it doesn't matter what, okay? That ideas, that creation that you want to make in your life, you will go for it. It doesn't matter, even if you are busy, even if you have children, even, I mean, you will go for it, okay? You will find time for, for that what you want to do. This is optimism, endless optimism. You don't know how but you will you will do it you'll find your way you'll find time for everything in that sense the full energy out there but then of sorts says you so just a decision that you can do it it doesn't matter you'll go for it you will take your worries away you know that, that was burden on your shoulders you know that was struggle that you did have decision to make and on Wednesday perhaps that what will be decision I'm going I'm going for it no matter what. Solutions I'll find on the way. When I face the problem with the children, with family, with whatever, I'll solve that problem that time. I'll cross that bridge when I come to the bridge. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? In that sense, and you feel better. Immediately feels better. No more this exhaustion and worries on your mind and troubles that you felt. You see what I'm saying? You feel you felt like, like you are battling this battle that defeats you, something is defeating you all the time out there. Now you have decided, no, I'm not defeated. I am up there, I'll take a leap of faith, I'll do it anyway. You see what I'm saying? Very optimistic, very brave, brave Wednesday for you, sad. Now look, 
Thursday you are doing it. You are doing something, something practical. Maybe you are doing something at home. Something that is decorating. This is your home and you are busy decorating. Building something around your home as well. Planning how you're going to break that wall. Okay, you will build then. You're going to break that walls and you're going to add another couple of rooms or something. Could be for some of you something like that on Thursday with this page of wands. Very youthful energy. Plain ground around, barren land, ready to build on. Okay, barren land, you are on to something at the very beginning, but still that energy of enthusiasm. Okay, very youthful energy, starting anew, fresh. This is very new and fresh page of wands with something very practical as I said maybe with your home as well okay very practical like your hobby like your new skill and you were enthusiastic about that that is your, your new career that is your new skill you will now make your old home look as new or you see what I'm saying things like that lots of enthusiasm youthful energy with something very practical. You'll do it, you'll enjoy it, you'll have fun, and you will build it, it will be around you, created. You've got beautiful energies, very creative energy. You're ready to bring something in your life with your two hands, okay, on your own. On your own, there's energy, king of wands, again. But now five of wands talks about not being prepared. Yes, this readiness is there. You do feel yourself ready, capable, uh, enthusiastic, and uh, this is kind of entrepreneurial uh, mentality, this King of Wands. Trusting yourself, trusting your abilities. That's good, confident energy out there. Suits you very well. It's only that you do feel kind of you, you don't have routine. Yes, you don't, you don't doubt yourself. You will you will find your routine. But the feeling that you were at the very beginning, you are this page, this child. With whatever that you do here, you have this new, youthful, childlike energy. And you do not have routine. You're not trained for that, what you are doing now. Okay? It's only that you are very confident. And you know, you know yourself. You're confident. You know you're capable. You can do it. Simple as that. That sort of energy is... You will find your way, you'll find your routine. For now, you're just training yourself. You're trying from here, from there, from one side, from another side. You are trying from all sides to see which is the best way to proceed, how to proceed, how to create, where to start, what is the starting point, what is, what is the following step. You see what I'm saying? Here, you don't have starting point, following step, finishing line. You don't have it there. Everything is kind of on top of each other, all ideas, you know. So perhaps you find yourself a bit chaotic on this day. Your work, in a way, is a bit chaotic. But you will, you know, you go through this chaotic stage. But next time around, you know exactly where you made a mistake. What took unnecessarily too long because you took it out of the queue. Next time around, you will know what's first, what's second, and so on. You will find your routine. You will harmonize yourself. You will balance this situation in that sense five of wands in here, still a little bit chaotic, but that is part of the process in a way. Seven of pentacles on Saturday with five of swords. Look, here you do have something done already, okay? Something that's supposed to now yield some results. You did put things together, okay? Now, for some reason, you're not going to be happy there. You will feel as a winner, as long there's another one who is the loser. You know, that's what you have done. Maybe you are not happy. Maybe you wanted to make it more, make it more valuable. But with this energy of five of swords, there is always winner and loser. And I think you are the biggest one. You will feel as a winner. Okay? You managed to succeed. There was this offer, perhaps in relation to that what was last week. In relation to that offer that you did have last week. By Saturday, perhaps you will tell to these people from last week, look what I have done. Without you losers, I've done it better 
I don't like this five of swords, but if you feel to rub somebody in somebody's nose with that what you what you have done, do it, you know, the, because this is just like that. Look at what I've done it myself. I didn't even need you. It, I don't need your shitty offer. I can do it better myself. In that sense, you see, Serge, five of swords. <laughs> you are the winner, but there's another one. You point fingers, you loser. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, it's important that you've done it well and by yourself, okay? That that what stands firmly this week, and it's lovely, and it's lovely. I really appreciate um, that fire energy, that creative energy. Do it. Do it yourself. You are capable. You are human being, creative and capable. And, you know, this week, it seems, you are proving just that. Now, these two majors on Sunday with the high rough and the high priestess, two very secretive and wise ones. Okay, there's wisdom here, the secrets. Look, these two might actually make up for this Saturday. Okay, this is kind of putting an effort, trying to find wisdom within yourself. You will find that wisdom within yourself. You will not be rude with these people people from earlier on somebody is there okay it's not just you in here there is your environment and it seems to me you will you will need to build some sort of good working relationship with people from last week just that's what i told you people that you were very bitter uh, about very bitter with now this time on Sunday you will perhaps rethink your your feelings perhaps you're not gonna say anything it's just that what you're gonna feel you know about these losers you know who offered you something ridiculous and you by yourself made it even better you see what I'm saying now on Sunday you can rethink that I don't know that bitter energy okay of yours and you will realize perhaps that you have to work with these people okay you've done it you prove them wrong okay you are capable they will see you now now you have to rethink some way of cooperation with that people with that what was you see what I'm saying I really feel it is two people here or maybe you and the group of people but two entities that you have to put together you want to bring harmony between you and another and you want to be wise one you are going to find your wisdom you're going to find your truth you're not going to that what you feel okay you might still feel a bit bitter about whatever offer that you received that that uh, uh, humiliating, ridiculous offer. Okay, you might actually have the same, very same feeling about it. You, you see what I'm saying? Feeling humiliated in a way. But you're not going to say it. This energy is very secretive. You will dig deep and find wisdom. You will make working relationship acceptable for you. That's what you are working on on Sunday. From Monday, you will still carry on working with these people, no matter whatever that has happened, whatever that happened this week. You were on your own. It was your choice. Okay? You ignored that offer. It wasn't sufficient enough. You've done it better yourself by yourself. But working relationship is important you know from monday you have to still be with these people but you're not gonna show that bitter energy you're gonna be secretive you're gonna be wiser okay you have to carry on in a way working with these people so kind of that middle ground i believe you will find you'll find solution you'll be wise that's for sure anyway very productive week for you so enjoy it Sage.